All right, guys, I got November, December, and January's panfish box. Let's crack open November. Let's take a look. I hear Jim on behind me. Uh, first thing I'm grabbing here is the Impulse out of here. This is a 20 count, the Scud Bug. I've used these before. I believe I got the brown ones like a few months ago uh, in the Lucky Tackle Box. These are really cool. They look like a, uh, almost like a, um, like a stone fly in the larvae phase and almost kind of like a juvenile crawdad. I'll show you a close up of those guys in a second there. Um, some mustad hooks, some live bait hooks. These are size two, really good for like live minnow fishing. Then we have the, forget what these call it. I, I have always referred to them as mouse tails. They're calling them the fat heads. This is the get lucky with Drew's Customs Baits fat heads. It's like a long skinny worm with a little ball head attached to it. Um, I like to throw these things on really light jig heads under bobbers. We can do it out here too. Um, the fish seem to be short striking today, so I probably cut that down to half size. These are also really good for trout. Um, your bigger panfish mouth, probably like uh, your, your yellow perch, your crappie, you're gonna eat those really well. Red ears can probably eat them quite well too. Um, some pure chartreuse swim baits. This is Billy's Bait Bugs. Little pure chartreuse swim bait right there. Looks to be about like two and a half inches. I like to throw my little swim baits on a slightly heavier head. The heaviest I'm gonna fish it is like an eighth ounce jig head. Probably as low as, eh, probably 130 seconds. That's, that's probably the two I'm gonna bounce around from. If I'm fishing deep, um, I'm gonna throw a little heavier jig head. Um, if it's a summertime, a little heavier jig head's okay. You can move it faster through shallower water. If it gets colder or shallower, you wanna go to those lighter jig heads. Chartreuse works really good if you have a lot of green tint to your water too. Um, some Mustad crappie jig heads, 16th ounce. There you go, you can fish them on that. If it's real shallow, real grassy, and you need to stay over the grass, you can fish it on these 16th ounce jig heads that came in there. Uh, these are nice, they have a little double keeper right behind the head, so when you push your plastics up there, they're gonna stay a little bit better. I could easily rig these on there, or I could easily rig these brim bugs. Uh, this looks like almost like a little spider or any sort of little creature that could be crawling around on the bottom. This is a really good color. My fish are real finicky and eating under bobbers right now, so I could probably smash them on that quite easy. And that's it for November. Oh, wait, I lied. I lied. Sap suckers. These are these real funny looking plastics. Uh, you can also rig them on those Mustad jig heads. I've not done too well outside of bedding season, but when my pan fish are bedding, these things were kicking butt in the spring. So if you got these in there, I'm not sure how well they work in cold water. I haven't fished them much in really cold water. We're mid-January right now. But during the spawn, this is a big, flappy, long appendage bait um, that seemed to get a lot of tension and it pissed the panfish off when these were up on their bed. So let's move on to December. <laughs> That's awesome. Just going there? Dang. Yeah. <laughs> I just knocked it off. Just knocking it off. Wait, where's my bobber? Huh? Where's my bobber? Real, real. When in doubt, real. Yeah, yep. we're on. When in doubt, real, dude. <laughs> <laughs> What's a net for me? And bobber down productions continues. All right, now we got December's. Let's see what we have in December's box. Uh, the Jenko 360 T swivels. Uh, this is pretty cool. What you can do is you can tie a line on the bottom, tie a line off the side. Um, so you have a weight down on bottom, a line going up to your main line, and then you can tie it off the side of it. If you're putting live bait out there, it's perfect. You have a little minnow and you don't want them to get tangled up in your line, or you don't want to do a drop shot setup because sometimes it doesn't allow the minnow to move free. Uh, little T-turn swivels like this can allow the minnow to move around or spin without tying up your whole leader. Uh, a more free moving lighter line is going to allow your live bait to live longer. So if you haven't played with T-swivels, um, try that. This is a tangle free 360 swivel by Big T's and Jenko Fishing. Pretty sweet. Um, here's that same impulse scud bug but in pure chartreuse. Um, that other one was like a dark purple. So what I want you to think about dirty water, dark colors. A little bit of green hint to your water, chartreuse works really well. Um, if you have a lot of little bait fish in your water, 
white's gonna work really well too, or naturally matching the hatch of the bait fish. When the water gets really clear, I like to go with natural colors like browns, green pumpkin, watermelon, red flake. Um, this is pretty cool though. These are big packs, the 20 packs is awesome. If you get into a school of bluegills or red ears, that's gonna last you a while. Uh, the Big T, another Jenko fishing. This is the head right here. These are jig heads, the one-eyed wiggle head. Very cool. They're almost similar to like a vibrating jig in regards to panfish. Um, I would use these if you're trying to get bigger panfish. If you're in a crappie fishing contest, a crappie tournament, this can get you a bigger fish. They wobble quite a bit and they put off a larger displacement. It's almost like trophy hunting. Jim's got another one behind me. Uh, the does it all bobber right here. This is a slip bobber or a crimp on style bobber. It comes with a hook, a bead, and a little slip knot right inside there. So it's a perfect setup whether you're um, slip bobber fishing or if you're fixed bobber fishing. Pretty sweet little deal right there. It's got a decent amount of weight to it, so you should be able to cast it pretty far as well. The brim spin. I was actually catching red ears on this the other day which is funny because I normally don't use inline spinners for red ears, but I'm casting out behind my house on my private lake like where we are today, and that damn inline spinner was knocking them dead. These also work really well in current. If you're fishing a river or a stream and you have a lot of current, an inline spinner can be fantastic for that. I'm gonna throw this on a light spinning rod, probably on like six or four pound tests. Uh, we have an assortment of hooks in here. This is interesting. I got two things of mustad hooks. I got the size four, uh, which are good for like your bluegills and your red ears. And then I have the size two, the offset right there for like your yellow perch, uh, your crappie, your bigger panfish, or your trout. Here's a little tiny still house swim bait. I could have lost this sucker in there. Uh, that looks like a 164th ounce jig head to me. Little, little tiny swim bait. Most pressured coldest time of year uh, probably even ice fishing you can fish this thing two pound test ultra light rod clear clear water a bait like that is going to excel natural color very light moves very slow very subtle doesn't put off a big presentation will probably catch anything that's willing to eat a baby minnow in the lake let's go to january if a person oh, this one's down. whoa what is that i don't know some color there that's big crappie yeah, big crappie. <laughs> oh, turn towards the camera, Jim. Yeah. Jim, that's what I'm talking about right there, bro. That's a nice crappie. Woo. Big old California black crappie, baby. <laughs> Show them up close. There you go. There you go, Jim. Oh, splash me right in the face. All right, guys, when I look in the January box right here, the first thing I see, I'm just doing my part. You're in the boat, sometimes you gotta pick up the net. I'm looking at Golden Gate line. You know what's funny? Uh, I don't even know where this line comes from. It's 650 yards of four pound test. It looks like monofilament line, which is perfect for pan fishing. You're making 20, 30 foot casts. You need some stretch. You're using little tiny lines. You need some stretch. I used to have a big spool of this that my dad behind the video camera here had in the garage. It was like 20 pound Golden Gate line. I don't know where he bought it. I'm all over the place. I hardly ever see it. So that's kind of cool. It's kind of historic. When I cracked this box open earlier and looked at it, I was like, that's pretty dope. Um, the best jigging spoons. There was three in here. I took one out to play with them. Uh, this is by Stopper Lures. This is the K&E Tackle. Um, I don't know how heavy these are. They feel a little bit lighter than an eighth ounce. They're perfect for like fluttering. You can cast it out, let it fall lift it up off the bottom, reel in a little line, let it swing back down, let it pendulum back down. Or you can vertically jig with these on light line. Two four pound tests, light rod or an ultra light rod is gonna work fine for you. The dynamic micro uh, spinner bait. This is cool. This thing looks like a bass spinner bait. Jim's on it, good. But it's, it's micro size, which is perfect for like crappie, for red ears, for yellow perch, for trout. This thing runs so true. I was burning it and this thing was running perfectly straight. Wasn't leaning to the side or anything. And it's that single little willow blade right there in gold. Um, I love fishing little spinner baits in overcast conditions like we have today. And for that blade being gold, it is the perfect combination for that. 
So I'm absolutely stoked to see a bait this awesome in the box. That's a Dynamic Innovation Fishing Lures uh, Micro Spin. This is an eighth ounce too, so it's a good amount of weight. You could throw that on ultralight. I probably wouldn't throw it on two pound, although you could, I would say four to six pounds gonna be good. Four pounds gonna get you more bites. Six pounds gonna assure you get that fish in a little bit easier. Uh, the Standout Deep Water Stacker, this is by Slab Daddy. What this is right here, um, I believe this is an eighth ounce jig head. And what the jig head sits down below, and they have this hook, which is really unique, and it's just up from that. This is a leader line, you can tie it onto a swivel. So the jig head's your weight on the bottom. So the fish can either bite the jig head, and this hook just up from it, you can hook a little plastic, or a live minnow. So if you're spider rigging like for crappie or if you're slowly jigging something or throwing under a float, you can shake it to attract them to that jig, which is chartreuse. If they get curious and see this, but they kind of like are not into the artificial baits that day, they can move up and eat your live minnow. Or if they are eating artificials, you can run a plastic on that top hook as well. Uh, the true turn offset hooks right here. These are a very light wire size six hook. This is gonna be perfect for all of your smaller panfish size. I always say a six or an eight, they have long shake, which is nice if you're fishing with kids and the kid doesn't realize the fish had it, gets it down deeper, that longer shake, you can easily grab and still work it out of that fish's mouth. The true turn's nice too. If a fish puts a little bit pressure, what that does is the hook actually leverages itself as the fish shakes his head to kind of set the hook for you. It's a pretty uh, unique system. I see an LTB koozie in there, which is always nice, and some more must-add live bait hooks. I'm really happy they're including much more hooks for you guys. I know a lot of people don't get excited about hooks in there, but little light hooks go a country mile. The more hooks you can have, the better, because you never want to so know you're going to go fishing tomorrow, and next thing you know, you're out of hooks. So. Luckily, LTB is including a lot of hooks. Remember guys, if you like this video, make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and click subscribe or click to follow us and receive notifications so you can get more educational videos like this. Jim's got another fish here. What do we, let me see, give, give me this fish, Jim. Give me, the, give me this fish. Appreciate you guys watching Lucky Tackle Box. Best of fishing.